All right, here we go. Cool. Six o'clock. So welcome to the Knowledge Star. And today we're going through social media sentiment analysis, AI tools in action. So as always, this is kind of our structure overview. Then I'll go through a workflow and then we'll just get into the demo. So a little bit about myself, Victor Cuevas. I'm the founder of the Knowledge Star. I am a systems leader at <clears throat> the call my Bruce Wayne job at Avid Laboratories, and I'm the founder of the Knowledge Jar, which I call my Batman job. And there we go. Awesome. So today we're going to talk about social listening. And so what is social listening? Today, <clears throat> social listening is like keeping your ears open online. It means paying attention to what people say about your business, your competitors, and related topics on social media and websites. And by doing this, you learn about customers, how they think and feel about your products or service. This will help you better understand what people want so you can improve your business to meet your needs. So we'll get over here. So these are the tools that are gonna be used. We'll be using Brand24 for social listening, um, similar web, chat GPT, and answer the public. And so let's get into it. Move this over here this over here all right we're going to start off in with brand 24 and there we go awesome so what is brand 24 brand 24 is an online tool that automatic automatically tracks and analyzes mentions and reach across platforms such as TikTok, facebook reddit and etc now, we're also going to use ChatGPT for data analysis. We'll you know, move into similar web to analyze web traffic, and we're going to use the answer public for keyword search. So here, I'm going to go ahead, brand 24. You can sign up for a free trial. I'm already signed up, so I'm going to click on dashboard. And you can see I've already preloaded the data. There we go. Click on NVIDIA. Awesome here. So I've already loaded NVIDIA and you see the graph that has a line for reach and one for mentions. So I'll explain both. Reach refers to the total number of unique users you have seen who have seen your content on social media platforms. So an example, if you post a photo on Instagram and 500 unique users see it, your reach for that post is 500. Now you got mentions. Mentions refer to the number of times your brand or specific keywords related to your brand are mentioned on social media. So an example, if someone tweets, I love the new features of Hootsuite, that counts as a mention on Hootsuite. And it's something to note, something to be careful with is double meanings when searching. One example could be Dyson. Dyson the brand, but there's also the scientific term Dyson Spear. So there's a pretty cool topic regarding energy and stars, but of course you would want to get rid of the spear. So you can see right here, my mentions is my blue line for NVIDIA. So you can actually put in the brand that you're trying to track and then find out what the mentions are. <laughs> oh, go ahead. I'm so sorry. Hey, Titus, how you doing? And then you also uh, have the reach as well right here in the green line. So you can actually get this data, but what's really cool because this, it's free is you can actually export the data into Excel. So anytime that you can export data, then you got to think to yourself, wow, can I go ahead and put that into chat GPT? So let's see here. So I've already exported the data, but if you click on from reports and over here, Excel report, this is going to Ex, uh, extract the data, all this data here. And what I'll do is I go into chat GPT. So next, all right, let's go over here, chat GPT. And I want to make sure I have the right prompt for you guys. Awesome. So here, what I'm going to do is in chatgpt.com, I am going to click on the little attachment upload from computer and I am going to find my Excel spreadsheet that I currently had. There it is. NVIDIA report. So I have my NVIDIA report and what I want to do 
is put in this prompt. This is a report on social media mentions of the word NVIDIA to understand what people are saying in social media about the brand NVIDIA and what can we learn from this. So key is, is what can we learn from the data? I'm going to go ahead and click on execute. And then it's going to start analyzing the data. And it's going to start generating a sentiment analysis. So you can see right here, the data from the report on social media mentions of NVIDIA includes several key sections, mentions, sentiment, categories, numerical data, analytical data. And some of the key insights that you're going to get from there is volume of mentions, sentiment distribution, platform analysis, reach, daily trends. So you can see right here, NVIDIA has a substantial number of mentions with the data showing thousands of mentions over a period of time. So the key message or key takeaway here is that if you were to upload your brand, you can find out what's happening outside in the world, have ChatGPT uh, analyze the data, and then determine, okay, do I have a positive sentiment? Do we see a negative sentiment? And from here, let's see here. Some of the questions that you can think about is, is our campaigns changing perspectives? Are there more people searching for our brands, right? That's the whole point of this. And the goal is to see, is your brand being looked at? And something I just learned about a week ago was a platform called Similar Web. You may have heard of SEMrush. Um, it's really good at looking at websites, looking at website traffic. There is a free plan here and you can do a market analysis here. Um, you can sign up, but I'm already registered. I'm going to click on login. Let's see here, so Google. Here, you'll probably see uh, my trial has ex expired, but I can still use the platform, the basic features, which is good. Awesome. So similar web. So similar web is able to analyze websites look at the traffic, you can see a um, bunch of different key metrics. And I'm going to show you, we'll use the NVIDIA as the example. So what you do here is you go to similar web and you go to the actual dashboard and it'll bring you here. And then you can search for any website. So I'm going to use NVIDIA because that's where we're using the very beginning. And here is NVIDIA. So you get a lot of key insights. You can see total visits from May 2024 to July 2024, right? You have 113 million. Here, this is device distribution. So you can see, okay, is are users using desktop or are they using the mobile? And you can see it's heavy on the desktop. You can see what is their rank, global, country, industry, and... I'm going to scroll down here. So this is really cool. You can actually see um, the visits over time. Here's a trend graph. And you can change um, the time range here. If I scroll down, you can see, OK, what is the distribution by country? And it's mainly US, right? But you can see Russia, China, German, or India. And so if, you, if I was doing a competitor analysis, I would probably say, OK, well, I don't see a lot of Latin America. So maybe I want to target that um, that market. So if I scroll down here and get into marketing channels. So a lot of it's direct, a lot of it's organic search, which tells me they got great SEO, very low paid search. And if I scroll down just a little bit more, let's see here, you'll see the social media platforms. There it is. So YouTube, Reddit, Discord, LinkedIn, Twitter. So notice there's no Instagram, right? Or very little probably in Instagram. So that I was doing a competitor analysis. I can say, hey, I want to tackle Instagram. So this right here is SEMrush or SEMrush. This is a similar web. And once you have that information, you can get your analysis from website. I can then think about keywords, right? Okay, now I know what the traffic is. But what is effective? What keywords are effective? And you can use a uh, website called Answer the Public. And what it does, it can 
map out to Google, Bing, YouTube, TikTok, and Amazon. So if I were to come here and say Google, I say NVIDIA, hit search. You're going to see here what is being actively searched using the keyword NVIDIA. And there's a lot of long keywords, such as when I say long keywords, long keywords is like why my keyword I put in there, NVIDIA stock is going up or why NVIDIA stock split. These are actual searches that people are entering into Google in this example. And what's nice here, I can come over to tables and I can scroll here to, let's see here. Ah, there it is. If I click on this little download button, I can export all that data here, go back into ChatGPT and analyze the data to see which keywords are working, which keywords are not. And this right here is a full closed loop system. So from basically by using ChatGPT, Brand24, you can use similar web and answer the public. You get a full sentiment analysis of your brand, your company, or any other brand, anybody else's company. So any questions, I'll open it up. Wow. <laughs> Yep. Yeah, Holly, we usually, it takes like 15, 20 minutes. Um, but I just try to get these little snorts, uh, short snippets. So that way it's easy, quick, and you can apply it right to your own small business or to any project that you have. All right. I hope enough for any questions. Let's see. There's a lot of data out there. <laughs> Yeah, there is. Yeah, there is. Yeah, that's so, pretty good. So it's similar web. Is that what that one was called? Yeah, similar web. Um, I'm going to show you. If I go to Google and I put in SEMrush. And I'm going to do this intentionally because I want you to sh show you the difference here, right? So if I go to pricing, right? I just use that for free. SEMrush. 139.95, 249, 499, right? I get almost the same data, right, as SEMrush. And it's enough. It's enough what I need, right? For so in similar web. So how much is it for the uh for brand 24? Do they all have do they all have free options? So every one of these has a free option. Um brand 24, I think may have recent um may have recently uh now you have to have a a price uh go to their pricing i don't know pricing but what i did is i just use a different email in order to use it so basically you get it all for free right you get brand 24 you get similar web and op um answer the public is also free And so is ChatGPT. Whoa. Not too bad. So hopefully that saves you some money and helps you get the data that you need for your company or your brand. Yeah. The So can you just go over a second? The answer to the pu public, which is a, what was the one that came up with all the um, the different words, the SEO words? Was that the website now, the similar web? This is answer the public. To... Yep, answer the public. You can put in whatever. Let's put in top golf, right? Well, it's one word, but there <laughs> <laughs> you go. I'll do it that way. Top golf. Night search. Let's see, and so it's going to generate, and let's see what people are searching for on Google regarding top golf. Hmm, it's churning. Maybe they're not searching for anything, or is it just taking its time? Taking its time. There you go. Oh, okay. Oh, all right. Wow, that wheel is really cool. Mm -hmm. So there's several questions. You can see this right here. And, of course, the higher score, that means it's 
very popular. Let's see here. When yeah, will Top Golf Durham open? Okay, I don't know what that means, but that probably you probably know. Durham, New, uh, North Carolina. It's a venue. No, okay. I, I see how it goes by what will, why, who, can, mm -hmm. how, however the yep. I guess that was put in as far as your search criteria. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Yeah, it's really cool stuff. Awesome. Any other questions? Well, just real quick, coming in September, we are going to, we being Kenneth Lowe and myself, will be hosting how to start a new business way with AI on Maven. So that will be coming out uh, probably here another week, week and a half uh, for sign up. So we will show you how if you have an idea or people, right, if you have an idea and I want to start a business, right, because with inflation and everything going on, man, it's good to have at least a side hustle, right, to make some additional income. Well, we're going to show you, hey, I have a, I want to start a business on a budget. We're going to show you how to do it, but we're going to show you how to do it even with using AI tools, right? Just like I showed you right now, you have four different tools, pretty much all free. We want to reduce those costs, but get your business up going. So that'll be coming up in a week and a half for sign up. All right. Well, no other questions. I will be um, posting the recording on the YouTube Knowledge Star channel and all the links and everything will be available in the comments. So thank you everybody for your time and we'll talk soon. Thank you. That was awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you.